Good day. Sorry about the brightness. Sun shining in my eyes. So today I'm going to show you how to fix a, a yoke uh, for the rear end on the S10 here. Uh, you may have seen the uh, differential rebuild I've done. I'm going to show you how to uh, install a ready sleeve. Sorry about the light again. All right, let me see here. Okay, sometimes, bring this down in the light here so you can see it. Sometimes when you pull off your yoke or you have a shaft, when you drive it through, you'll have a leak, even with a new seal. Now right there, you see that little hairline groove right there? Okay, well where the seal hits, it catches that and it leaks. So what we've done is we've bought a ready sleeve that's not necessarily the name for it, but, oh, it's a shaft repair sleeve. You go there. Now, they measure them in uh, shaft diameter. Diameter, right? Yeah, circumference is around diameters across. Okay, uh, this one is 1.52 inch, so we actually ordered one up that was 1.52 inch there. Let's see? Shows you in millimeters. Anywho, this is the one for it. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, it's two little pieces of aluminum. This first one here is the sleeve itself. And it will actually go down over top of this. Like so. And create a new 1.526 uh, groove. This is to put it on. So it sits like that, nice and snug, and that way you don't ding this all up. And this is a harder steel than uh, this is. So, I'll show you how to put it on once I set the camera up here. Okay, first things first, I'm going to read you the instructions. Number one, clean all surfaces where the seal contacts the shaft. File down all burrs and rough spots. Number two, take three measurements of the diameter of the unworn shaft directly beside the wear path figure A right there three measurements we've already done that the average diameter should be within the range printed on the box labeled to ensure su sufficient press fit cement not required number three mark the exact location on the shaft where the sleeve must be placed to cover the worn area number four if the wear is deep Fill the worn area with metal type filler and install the sleeve before the filler sets. Don't wait until it sets because then you'll never get the sleeve on. Number five, place the installation tool over the sleeve. Figure B, right there. Number six, hammer gently on the installation tool or squared off tube of same diameter for longer reach until the sleeve reaches the right location on the shaft. Figure C. Oh, right there. Number seven. Only if the flange removal is necessary. A. Use side cutters to cut all the way to the groove line, preferably prior to beginning installation. Uh, B. Fold the flange back and forth progressively along the groove to obtain clean, undistorted break. Figure D. Pulling action alone may cause unwanted damage. This one right here. And what that is, is if uh, you don't have to go right to the bottom here. If you only had to go to here, you got to cut that lip off. Uh, number eight. Keep the repair area smooth and free of burrs. Number nine. Lubricate before install the seal. And then it says, warning on here, contents may be sharp, and that's because we're dealing with thin metal. Okay, so... I'm just going to give this a little sanding, clean it up, and I'll be back to uh, show you how to s insert that. All right. Yes, it is, by the phone. Okay, hopefully you can see that all right. All right, so this is the ready sleeve, and this is the uh, application unit. Sorry about the hands in the way. I'm filming sideways and upside down kind of thing. Alright, so that goes on. Make sure that's all good. This is going to go right to the bottom. 
because our our groove is there and yeah well you'll see so it says gently tap this on don't come right on to it Not going on yet. Yeah, it takes a bit of force, just so you know. As you see, it's going on. We've got flush now, but it does does take a bit of force. We're tapping all the way around, pretty much as even as we can, so that it goes on straight. We're almost there. Don't get impatient. And start beating it, because, I mean, if you get it all this way and then you end up destroying it, I mean, what was the point? <sighs> so, as you can see, we're still going. We're almost <sighs> to the bottom here. We're fully seated. We're just going to make sure. All right. Now, if you were doing this on a shaft and it wasn't blunt here, you would have to cut this off. Ah, oh, sorry about that. You'd have to cut this rim off, and it's suggested to do it before. And be careful when rubbing your fingers over this. Anywho, now you can see that our groove that was approximately here where the tip of my nail is, is now gone because we put a new protective sleeve on it. And that's how to insert a ready sleeve. Oh, yeah. And they're a lot cheaper than a yoke or a shaft. Thank you for watching, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you.